you everyone um, for staying with us through all six sessions. Uh, we learned a lot from each other and we've also found some uh, common interest for future collaborations. Um, I would like to invite the, pardon? I would like to invite the heads of the three organizations to present their closing remarks. First, may I invite um, Professor Sutipan uh, of the ASEAN Studies Center here in Chula to present his closing remarks. Thank, thank you. Professor Sutipan. Okay, uh, thank you, Lip Li. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Chair uh, Gwen, uh, for the last session and all the panelists. It's quite amazing that we can uh, you know, staying up to this moment for this uh, two-day conference. And uh, uh, when we start uh, yesterday, I'm not quite uh, uh, sure how it would turn out, uh, but uh, I see from the very first uh, session up to really the session seven, uh, is, is uh, the participation is uh, really uh, you know, that's uh, uh, so strong and uh, very productive. And we have been able to discuss a lot about the issue of the Indo-Pacific. i not attending much uh, lately on, the, on the, uh, this particular issue. I know that uh, there have been a discussion here and there for individual presentation, but the two full day uh, session, uh, with seven sessions on Indo-Pacific, Think we achieved quite. Um, uh, that's why um, I'm not going to make any uh, 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 conclusion about the individual session or all the whole uh, session that we have, but uh, we, I think we met the three objectives uh, that we had first uh, uh, to bring the real voices of each speaker, each distinguished uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, panelists who gave the really the, the, the full uh, perspective and, and, and very current one uh, uh, about what they were to say. I think that's very rich in itself. And I start uh, listen to policymakers, they listen to us, you know, the, the three points from the Thai policymaker, very useful. Uh, and then to the French uh, role, uh, of the EU in, in the region, I think also a very important one as an outsider uh, view and alliance. And then to the, the particular, the, the, the India as a crux, and we discuss a lot with the Indian colleagues in this particular uh, conference to make sure the concept of Indo-Pacific, uh, why we looking at the ASEAN Indo-Pacific and centrality, our unity, and also, this is something the new concept for us. I would like to make sure is go beyond uh, the strategies view only to cover many other areas, you know, economic dimension from my perspective and on many colleagues' perspective to people uh, agenda, make sure is uh, met the expectation of the people. And uh, as well, I think that that's why the lesson learned has come to the second point, the lesson learned from the exchange is so rich that I, uh, I'm, uh, first I thought about the elaborating this part, but uh, uh, viewing the time that we have, uh, uh, we not have time. Uh, that's something that we will be leap upon each of uh, you to work upon and perhaps uh, some kind of uh, uh, think tank network, uh, academic network uh, with the civil society, with the uh, government officials. I think it will be useful if we continue that kind of exercise. And that's come to my uh, last point. I think is uh, this is something uh, uh, we need to look ahead and uh, what 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 be next from here. Uh, that there's a lot of uh, uh, food for thought and, and a lot of proposal, a lot of uh, people already listing kind of the issue. Uh, you know, for our ASEAN, you know, that uh, we, we feel that uh, uh, despite the kind of the uh, diversity of view when we discussed yesterday on ASEAN session, 
but we said uh, we uh, on the on the, the, the at the end of the day we would be to work out the ASEAN way whatever the ASEAN unity despite our differences uh, despite our uh, you know the uh, 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 different views uh, but I think that's uh, that's that's how it works and and not only among us of course we have. Uh, alliance, we have many friends, uh, that, that's something very important that we need to uh, keep on. And um, uh, that's why uh, uh, it's so important uh, uh, on the broad uh, strategic issue, of course, uh, we said that uh, starting from the rivalry of the superpower, US, China, but we believe that uh, uh, not choosing side and uh, uh, how to resist on any temptation to choose side and work on uh, to many other kind of issues. Um, uh, last and not least, uh, I think as uh, a lot of takeaway also as well, uh, and, and, and I believe it's uh, uh, my colleagues, uh, Professor Clayton and and also Professor Papiere have a lot to uh, add to what I might just said. Um, so I hope that we live to our expectation for participants. Any remaining earlier, so is our sincere apologies. You know, some technical problem is never easy to make these two days uh, online conference and make it live and make it like a a physical present, but I think we, uh, uh, you know, we, we we try our most. Let's say, to to make a uh, make our best to to make this reach you to all of you, and with uh, all constructive comments from uh, our participants. I think this also make our job easier in terms of managing the this kind of uh, rich uh, discussion and conference. Finally, I need also to thank, uh, you know, the, my uh, colleagues, uh, the three teams, uh, uh, the, the team from uh, the French team of uh, ERASEC, uh, many behind, uh, Claretan, Professor Claretan, and also our longtime colleague, Professor Prabhide, uh, our, um, uh, you know, the counterpart uh, in uh, India, ASEAN India Center, RS New Delhi, as usual, you uh, uh, you put fully the energy, both uh, both teams uh, put full energy to make this happen, and then I forget from my team from Bangkok, uh, ASEAN Study Center of Chulalongkorn University, uh, starting with my colleagues that you've seen, you know the Professor Piti and those who have not seen who have been behind the scene and also uh, uh, the supporting team, the staff, uh, starting from uh, uh, Ms. Titiya uh, Nok, who uh, uh, was uh, uh, the first person that said, well, what we could do about this two-day conference. So she, she said, Ajahn, you, you could do it. And uh, uh, we have the support of three team. And also, uh, 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 Fong, uh, you know, the uh, Tan, another two supporting staff, very important. And we have also Kun Peng, the technical staff of university. Without her, without all this uh, supporting staff, we will not be able to achieve uh, this far. So thanks to them. And of course, about the publication plan, that's something we discuss among three organizers. Of course, uh, we would like to make it, uh, you know, that uh, wrap up uh, quickly. So we hope we will write them individually uh, and, uh, and we have a common message, a kind of time plan for publication plan. That's, that's one thing. And for future activities of Indo-Pacific, I think Professor Tran also had the idea when she will go back to Europe, I'm sure Professor Babi, they always come up from Delhi, uh, from conference. I'm sure other ASEAN uh, colleagues also have plans. It not be only Bangkok, Delhi, or Paris. It could be uh, 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 other places, other kind of uh, collaborative effort we have. So I'm very fortunate, and I feel 
this round we uh, make quite uh, a step to move ahead with our Indo-Pacific and uh, thank for offering we were also about the ASEAN, what ASEAN could do, you know, not really we talk among ourselves, but uh, a lot of friends from outside as well doing the wonderful job. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Professor Claire. Yes, it's my, uh, my turn. Uh, so uh, you already say a lot, Professor Sutipan. Uh, my closing remarks will only be uh, thanks. Uh, first of all, thanks for you, Professor Sutipan, and uh, uh, um, also Professor uh, uh, Prabir uh, for working together. I'm really fortunate to, to be able to organize, co organize this event. And uh, uh, I, I will not, you, you mentioned many people, but I would like to, to re-mention Lipli and Kuntitia. Uh, really, it was a great pleasure. Uh, it was sometimes a bit stressed because it was, uh, there were so many things to, to, to deal with, but it was really a, a great opportunity. And I have to say that I'm living after five years uh, in Bangkok uh, and coming back to France. I'm very sad because it was so, uh, I mean, th this collaboration was, uh, really uh, exceptional. Um, uh, I, I'm teaching about Southeast Asia in France, but to live here in Bangkok gives me so much, uh, and, and to, to travel all, all around Southeast Asia, give me uh, 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 much more interesting uh, and, and profound uh, uh, comprehension of, of the, the, the region and uh, um, beyond the region. And uh, so the organization with uh, uh, New Delhi uh, and um, so many participants, because we have to say that most of, the, of the, the, the audience was from India. So it was so great to have this, uh, this uh, opportunity to work together. So I really hope that back to France, we can continue this collaboration in this network. And um, I would also express my gratitude to the chairs uh, and also to all the, the, the contributor uh, from all over the world who uh, um, participated in, even if it was very late, David, you, you didn't sleep at all, I think, because you always was there during the conference. Um, and uh, so we, thanks to you, we really have a great diversity of uh, a point of view. Uh, and um, so there is also a diversity of issues, economy, strategic, and, um, and I think we have a lot of work to do together for years uh, on the, all these issues. So uh, um, yes, I'm very uh, sad not to be able to share with you to drink together because at the end of a conference, we have always a, a good moment together. And I hope that after uh, the crisis of, of uh, the COVID, um, I think we, uh, I hope that we can organize something and uh, have the opportunity to meet us in Rio. Thank you so much to all of you. Thank you very much, uh, Professor uh, Sutipant and uh, Professor Claire. It's my turn to just give a vote of thanks to all of you. Um, the two days, you know, came and it disappeared so fast. I could not catch them. It was so fast that, you know, 30 speakers, uh, seven sessions, uh, it just uh, moved quickly from one part of Indo-Pacific to another part of Indo-Pacific, perhaps faster than time, maybe. Uh, so and this has been possible only because Professor Sutipan, Professor Clare, and all the participants who came, attended, uh, participated with their questions and with their deliberations, interventions. Thank you very much for everyone for joining. We had, uh, uh, initially we thought that how to be as possible, whether we will be able to gain uh, or whether we will be able to attract mind of the people because of time gap and we are connected and remotely. But I found, you know, I was wrong actually. Over 500 people, they've registered. And the, the Kuntitia, Dr. Lipley, they have the databases. Uh, anybody can access. Uh, and I see that the average footfall, average footfall in for seven sessions uh, is about 100 plus. Now 52 people are attending, including us. But look at the peak time when we ended 
the seventh session. Those are good numbers. And uh, because of, you know, uh, the advantage of the virtual connectivity, the digital, and that's what uh, Sininath Professor, you know, she reminded us that in the Indo-Pacific countries, if we're going to leverage this advantage, we need to come out with the digital connectivity plan, et cetera, et cetera. So, so there are many takeaways, Professor Sutipand, such a seasoned and eminent professor from the region and uh, under his guidance and with the new people and many other uh, partners, uh, we could make it uh, possible. I think I have received many messages. Many people have liked it. We have not only just discussed um, uh, that security strategic economic community, several dimensions were you know, discussed initially. We thought this is going to be an academic conference, but we found the people from the diplomacy, uh, from practitioners, uh, legal experts, economists, they are also joining and picking up some of the insights for their own, own activities. So thank you very much. And I was just counted how many Indo-Pacific participating countries have attended. I think except African nations, almost everyone, even though the conference, conference is not about Indo-Pacific, it is about Asian integration in per se and our, you know, our, our ASEAN outlook and Indo-Pacific. Uh, linkages. So, so thank you, ASEAN Study Center, Chula University, IRSEC from uh, French Embassy, ASEAN India Center, all the speakers for making it a great success. Now outcome, Professor Sutipan said, and from, from my side, uh, that we are going to have a publication. We will look forward, all the partners, their collaborations, and there are interesting papers I would request through you, Professor Sutipan and Professor Clara, to all the speakers who attended, uh, presented their papers to come out the revised version. And by August 10, it's a deadline, it's a very short, but try. Uh, we already in touch with um, popular publishers. So hopefully we will be able to come out with the publication very soon. And those who have uh, you know, plan to do follow-up conferences, seminars, webinars, please keep in touch with Professor Sutipa and Professor uh, Clear and Dr. Lipley, if we can do uh, some sectoral things, if we can do some other dimensions on the on, on topic or different other challenges. So thank you very much. And uh, I have two announcements. Uh, one is that uh, we edit uh, ASEAN Study Center at Chula University and ASEAN India Center. We jointly edit this journal it's a, it's a half and uh, half yearly journal. So we had a special session last year. It is on Indo-Pacific, uh, the new paradigm, and the introduction was written by Professor Sutipan. So this journal comes from uh, Sage, and uh, there were uh, six, seven papers. If you haven't uh, looked at these, are freely available. You know that open source, so you can look at uh, the uh, the site website of Sage. You can download. There are papers from different eminent scholar on, on the topic, you know, which, uh, you know, we have been discussing about. So this is one already there, the joint initiative between ASEAN organization, Indian organization, would like to, we'd like to, I, I mean, from my side, I'd like to say, let this be replicated by China and other countries so that we can have more academic output and we get an opportunity to publish our papers and, you know, and create a path for our younger scholars. And the other one, uh, which is a new book, this is, uh, um, I took the printout. Uh, this is, uh, I, and, and I, I can sh show you, that this is the book uh, by Between the Two Oceans of Indo-Pacific, Enhancing ASEAN Connectivity Through Thailand, Myanmar, Southern, East to West Corridors, edited by Professor Sutipa and Professor Charit and myself. This is coming from Sage, and we received this, uh, poster so uh, and hopefully by this was our visit uh, to um, and I could not visit I, I was I contributed a paper and part of the editing team but Professor Suri, Sutipan and Professor Ch Charit and their whole you, team you been to Tawai you been to Tawai part of <laughs> <laughs> I was part of another one so they visited and the one they presented today in my session so so thank you very much and the last but not the least I thank uh, a good team, you know, uh, from from July University, uh, Dr. Lipley. Uh, you have a right persons uh, there, Lassian Center. 
you have uh, uh, Kuntitia and many others who have worked day and night from the back in my organization here and uh, Professor Clary's organization uh, in Bangkok. Uh, and so it has been possible because of their all coordination, cooperation, we didn't ask question, rather we collaborated. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is the ASEAN way, you know, collaboration. And, and finally, that Indian ASEAN going to celebrate its three decades of uh, partnerships uh, next year. Already, and, already. Uh, yeah, <laughs> next year, and we, we, we invite, and we have a many plan to do, you know, to commemorate the 30 years. Uh, we hopefully, not 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, you know, we will be doing some more events. So this, with that, you know, I close and I thank you very much. Uh, 50 people are still listening to us in this night in Bangkok. So happy, have a very happy good night and uh, good evening to all of them. Namaskar and Swazdika. Thank you very much. Thank you. And and I could not forget to mention uh, Dr. Lipley, uh, a powerful con convener uh, of our conference. In fact, uh, she joined us uh, more recently, you know, but she worked for a long time at the ASEAN Secretariat with Dr. Surin as well. So I found this, uh, uh, someone who have a very inside view of what happened in uh, within the ASEAN lab mechanism. And uh, I'm very happy that she uh, joined us uh, as ASEAN uh, fellow in residence. And, and uh, well, this COVID time is not easy for Lipley, right? So what you like to add the last word, Lipley, before we close? Um, yeah, just thank you, Professor Sotipan, for including me in your activities and, and for this opportunity to, to take part in this uh, conference. Um, I think I've met many people online with similar interests to mine, and I'd be interested in collaborating if anyone would uh, like to pursue some topics with me. Um, but I will be contacting some of you individually to see if you'll be interested. Um, thank you so much again for your participation and sorry if we messed anything up. So here uh, concludes our uh, conference, right? Yes, I think, yeah, this thank concludes you, our conference. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.